It is a great privilege for me to host this auspicious event in which we deliberate on the importance of culture diplomacy, cultural diplomacy in the integration agenda of the SADC region. This webinar has brought together highly esteemed people who have in one form or another been engaged in diplomacy. Cultural diplomacy has somewhat been re relegated to the periphery of diplomacy, while the term cultural diplomacy has only been recently established. It remains an area of interest for researchers, scholars, and those in the field of international relations. Cultural diplomacy has existed as a practice for centuries. There has been a system engagement of people in our region through trade, art, and education. This owes in existence and as such has been the case during the pre-colonial period in our region where people were interfacing with each other even before the discovery of minerals. This interaction was further deepened by the liberation struggle that ensued during the colonial period where the liberation movement were formed by the people of our region. South Africans' role in the enhancement of cultural diplomacy and integration in our region is yet to be told. <clears throat> there is more work that is yet to be done by researchers and to tell the story of cultural integration. For example, the role played by the discovery of minerals and mines and establishment of institutions of higher learning such as Fort Hare University continues to highlight the role that South Africa has had as a clue in the expression of cultural diplomacy and integration of Southern African region. It is no exaggeration to say that our region has strong historical relations and that we also share common values, cultures, and languages. Therefore, our regional economic, political, and cultural aspiration depend on these shared aspects of culture to be realized in order to in order for us to achieve regional integration and sustainable development. Ample described by Milton C. Cummings Jr. as, I quote, the exchange of ideas, information, art, and other aspects of culture amongst nations and their people to foster mutual understanding, close quote. Cultural diplomacy has always been at the core of our regional integration program. Furthermore, the majority of SADC countries form part of the frontline states, which play a key role in the liberation struggle of South Africa and other neighboring countries from colonialism and apartheid. South African Development Community Treaty which came into existence in 1992, remains our beacon of hope and a strong foundation through which SADC member states and citizens in the region act. A critical objective as encapsulated in the SADC treaty is to strengthen and consolidate the long-standing historical, social, and cultural affinities and link among the people of the region. To supplement the treaty, SADC adopted in 2001 the Protocol on Culture, Information and Sports to, among others, cooperate in the formulation and harmonization of cultural policies, create a social cultural environment within which regional integration ideas can be realized, as well as to develop and promote institutions of cultural heritage, such as libraries, museums, and archives. Currently, even though the concept of cultural continues to be among the core priorities of the SADC work program, it constitutes the pillar on which industrialization is centered. As such, there are a number of projects and programs 
that are endorsed by the SADC Summit of Head of State and Government that SADC Secretariat is driving, aimed at enhancing our shared common agenda. There are Southern African Liberation Days celebrated on the 23rd March. The SADC Summit has approved that Southern African Liberation History be included in school syllabi to ensure that the younger generations in the SADC region have an opportunity to learn the history of the liberation struggle. SADC Award for Media and Secondary School, the Easy Competition, is an annual event which contributes towards the promotion and awareness of SADC programs and successes. This initiative seeks to encourage participants from SADC member states to continue contribute to the promotion and awareness of SADC program and success. In 2019, SADC South Africa took the second position in the media award television category. The story that won Follow the Guns was a co-producer between Kata Blancha and Miss Search Maria. By way of background, Miss Search Maria is a South African and a producer of television program Kata Blanche. She is an investigative journalist and television producer who joined Kata Blanche in 2012 and has since won several awards for her human rights, politics, and environmental stories. SADC Intra-Regional Sports Tournament brings together member states to participate in varying sporting activities, which different member states having an opportunity to host the event and therefore deepening cultural relations in the region. Mechanism in in honor of the founders of SADC, some of the planned activities on these mechanisms will include commissioning research leading to publication focusing on all SADC founders, funding scholarship and research grant in honor of the founders, and naming government building and parliament's offices after the founders of SADC in member states. Recognizing the Kiswahili is one of the widely spoken languages, the SADC Summit held in Tanzania in 2019 adopted Kiswahili as the fourth work, working language of SADC for gradual implementation, other official SADC language being English, Portuguese, and French. It is one of the greatest milestones to have one of the indigenous languages gaining recognition in terms of the agenda of the region. The recent Southern African Development Community Summit of Head of State and Government hosted by the Republic of Mozambique and held virtually on the 17th August 2020 approves the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan 2020-2030 and the SADC Vision 2050. This is an important milestone as the SADC, as the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan 2020-2030 clearly sets out guidelines <clears throat> and targets on SADC's priorities and policies for our regional integration and development agenda. Culture can, without doubt, be a catalyst for economic development and regional integration for us to achieve the objectives as set out in our regional indicative strategic development, de development plan 2020-2030. The SADC Vision 2050 visualized a peaceful, inclusive, competitive, middle to high income industrialized, industrialized region where all citizens enjoy sustainable social economic well-being, justice and freedom. I am certain that Culture has an important role to play in the achievement of this endangered vision as it will put at the disposal of all different member states the kind of soft power that is needed to navigate 
through negotiations that are often directed by the politics of hard power. Driving cultural integration and relation can no longer be regarded as the responsibility of government alone. It requires all citizens to be involved. Cultural diplomacy can be utilized to build international bridges, networks, and be an instrument for re reciprocal exchanges between our people in the region. In conclusion, Program Director, let me state that the importance of cultural diplomacy should not be underestimated as it has been proven widely that it continues to be a common denominator that brings people together, a catalyst that strength, strengthens friendship and enhances solidarity amongst the different peoples of the world. I thank you.